week. Say hi to your buddies. Hi, my mom's sick. Oh no. All right, we're on Cinderella. I'm happy it's not an American flu. Cinderella thought the seamstresses had brought Emma. The princess remembered what it was like to do chores all day. So she invited Emma to have tea with her. They, they sat at a table laid with delicate china and gleaming silver. Got those little cookies. A servant brought in tea and clothes and cookies. Oh, those look good. I am her, Emma. You're Emma? Emma. Good job. Emma. It must be wonderful to be a princess, Emma said, between bites. You get to wear... Out. You get to wear fancy clothes, go to parties all day, and order servants around. Cinderella laughed. When a princess wants something, she asks politely. And there's much more to being a princess than clothes and parties, she replied. Why don't you help me this afternoon and see what a princess really does? That's a good suggestion. Mm, yep. Boom, bingo. For the next few hours, Emma and Cinderella... What? Can I see your clothes? <gasps> we got to clothes, Daddy. It's so pretty, aren't they? They are. Why can I? Sh why not? Can you show everybody? I it? did. I did. You didn't get to show yourself. Uh, well, why do I show myself? Oh, yeah, they they might want to find out what my dad is. Okay. Well, next time. For the next few hours, Emma and Cinderella put together blankets of food. And you have a nice boy. Clothing, books, and toys. Thank you. Emma's favorite part was going through in Cinderella's wardrobe to look for old clothes that could be donated. That was nice. Those little spiky. Am I spiky? Mm. I like when they're spiky and they're not spiky. I like both. Yeah. Mm. Oops. Right, let's finish our reading, baby. Soon it was time to deliver the baskets to the schools and orphanages. As they passed through the village in the royal carriage, Emma waved at a passerby. Princess Emma, she thought. I like the sound of that. Who's she hugging? The guy that put Cinderella in. When they arrived at the school, the headmistress gave Emma a big hug. Headmistress gave Emma a big hug. Where have you been, she cried. We've been so worried. The headmistress and the other girls had been looking for Emma all afternoon. But I thought the seamstress brought you to work, Cinderella said, puzzled. I thought the seamstresses brought you to work, Cinderella said, puzzled. Emma explained how she'd snuck into the castle. I'm sorry, she said. I didn't mean to make everyone worry. I just wanted to see what being a princess was like. Being a princess is more than just plain dress up, Cinderella told her. It also means being responsible. For your tea. Hmm? For your tea. You can make your own tea, too. All right. I can make my tea. Well, there's the seamstresses back there. Where's the seamstresses? One, two. Good. Dress for you. Dress for you. That's her dress. Gotcha. I think. Why don't you come to the castle each day, Cinderella suggested. Then you can learn more about what princesses really do. Every afternoon when Emma's lessons were over, she went to the castle. The princess was always very busy. She oversaw, she oversaw the castle staff. She visited the shopkeepers and farmers to make sure everything was running smoothly. She even got the court jester to tell jokes to children who were ill. Okay, baby. Emma tagged along everywhere. Cinderella decided that she should help plan the party for the girls' school. So Emma helped to decorate. She also helped to cook. To she also helped the cook make a cake. Cinderella was so impressed that she asked her mouse friends to make her a special dress for Emma. It's fit for a princess, Emma exclaimed when she saw it. Look. No, that's next book. No, no, don't look over there. Finally, the night of the party arrived. The girls twirled around the dance floor in magnificent new dresses. I still wish I could be a real princess, said Princess, said Emma. Because you've worked so hard, I'm going to make you honorary princess for the evening, Cinderella said with a smile. Oh, oh, thank you, the girl cried happily. She was thrilled that she'd 
get to be Princess Emma for one magical night. Oh. Let's look, get a peek. This oh. is going to be our next one. Tangled Rapunzel story. Tangled Rapunzel story. Night, friends. Eek. Goodbye, friends. Bye.